This is one of my favorite travel backpacks that I reviewed this year. The ULA Dragonfly is a lightweight minimalist pack while also having a lot of exterior expandable pockets that makes this great as a hiking backpack. And if you think this pack is a little small for you, then stick around because I'll be comparing the Dragonfly to the larger 40 liter ULA Atlas in a later video. I intended to get the Dragonfly with the VX21 RS fabric, but they sent me the regular X pack, so I won't be able to compare these fabrics. It's not as soft as the RX, but it's still a great fabric. This is the VX21. It's a thinner 210 denier X pack. A waterproof fabric. This is one of the more popular thicknesses of these X-Pack fabrics for backpack. It's a very lightweight, abrasion resistant material while also being very strong and completely waterproof. They offer this pack with many other fabric options. There are seven total options for the X-Pack fabric, as well as a thin, strong 400 denier Robic nylon, as well as a 500 denier Cordura. And then you add to that these exterior water resistant YKK zippers. They have number fives on all the pockets, the front, the top, and the main pocket, and then the laptop sleeve. And except for a lack of sealed seams, the Dragonfly is an almost a waterproof pack. It's gonna hold up really well to light rains, but it's gonna eventually start leaking through these seams in any kind of extended downpour. The Dragonfly is designed to be a weekend pack with smaller dimensions that will fit under the seat in many airlines. The length is 19 and a half by 11 wide, by about seven inches tall. The total capacity in this pack is listed at 30 liters. However, that takes into account the capacity on these exterior stretchy pockets, which hold quite a bit. And the volume on just the main compartment is listed at 22 liters. I think the Dragonfly holds a lot more than you think it would. So to test this, I'm gonna compare the packing capacity between this bag and this larger 40 liter REI Big Haul. This is a small minimalist backpack, but it has a lot of external features that are gonna to add to the capacity and the comfort. It has these large stretchy pockets, it has the side compression straps, a top access brain pocket, as well as a laptop pocket. These stretchy pockets are similar to what you see on a lot of other backpacking backpacks. These things are large enough to fit basically any size water bottle that you wanna put in there. They're also, Big enough, they can accommodate, you can store other gear in here, clothes, shoes, snacks, etc. And this front pocket is the same way, it has this top zipper access, and this fabric is really stretchy. So you can fit a ton of gear in here. Also has this bungee cord on the back that you can use to strap on even more gear. You can easily fit an extra jacket or even a towel under this thing. And then just to show you how versatile and how much extra room these pockets add, you can use the main pack as your travel gear and then all these pockets add enough room. If you're gonna go hiking, you can put water bottles, a rain jacket, I have a water bottle in here. Going to the beach, you know, I got a towel. And in this pocket, I have my flip-flops. The only other exterior organization besides the front stretchy pocket is this top access slash pocket. You can see this thing is quite large. I have quite a bit of gear in here right now. I can fit a lot of stuff in there. However, take into account the volume does eat into the main compartment. And then we also have the laptop compartment, which is located on the back above the backpack straps. This is a minimalist laptop sleeve. It doesn't take up a lot of room in the pack, but it offers you enough padding and protection for your laptop. It's protected on the front and the back with this thin piece of firm foam padding, as well as the squishy backpack material. This thing is pretty large. It will fit up to a 17 inch laptop. This is my 15 inch Dell, slides in there pretty easily. In addition to the padding in the front and the back, this thing has a false bottom. So you can see my laptop only comes down to right here. There's a little bit of space on the bottom. So you don't need to worry about damaging your laptop when you set the bag down. As far as carry options, we have these thick wide backpack straps. They're not stowable and there are no side bottom carry handles just this one top thin grab handle. This is a thin piece of nylon webbing coated in this rubberized tubing. It's strong and it's great for pulling the bag in and out of overheads, but it's a little bit too thin for this to be the way you carry the bag around. ULA does a great job with these shoulder straps. This company has a long history of making ultralight backpacking backpacks, so they know how to make these straps comfortable, 
while also making them lightweight. They do this by making the straps extra wide with this pronounced S-shaped curve that fits your shoulder and torso very well. They're made from two layers of foam padding. There's this thin, firm foam padding on the front and then this softer, squishy foam behind this breathable mesh on the back. They're not very thick, but the width of them helps distribute the weight across your shoulders. Down here, they have these standard adjustable sternum strap connected with a plastic Duraflex buckle, and then some other accessories that you see more commonly in backpacking backpacks, like these little plastic D-rings, and then these two mesh stretchy pockets. These things are great for hiking. You can store snacks, sunscreen, or even a small phone in here. However, I do think they kind of take away from the aestheticness of the bag, and I wish they had made these things optional or at least removable. All in all, this is a very comfortable pack to wear. These shoulder straps fit me great. They have a good adjustability and this nice sternum strap. Very comfortable pack to wear. The shoulder straps are a little bit stiff when you first start wearing the bag, but just like most shoulder straps like this, they're gonna break in after you wear the bag around for a while. The interior organization is really similar to a duffel bag, except for this flap folds down from the top instead of from the side. And then the inside, it's pretty much just one large duffel style compartment. There's a couple of these tie down straps to keep your gear from moving around and then one large mesh zipper pocket located in the lid. I'm a big fan of packing cubes and this bag works great with them. The standard 14 by 12 cubes are a little large for this bag. So I went with these smaller, these are Gonex compression cubes, 12 by nine by four inches. And two of these things fit pretty much perfectly in the bottom of this pack. I packed what realistically I would take on a long weekend trip. I have three t-shirts, pair of shorts, pair of pants, two long sleeve button up shirts, three socks and three underwear. On top of the clothes, I have toiletry kit, a small wind jacket, a packable day pack, and then an extra pair of shoes and a puffy jacket. And that leaves me plenty of room in this top brain pocket and then this little mesh pocket for all the rest of my electronics, sunglasses, passport, phone and charger. This is what that bag looks like fully packed out with all that gear I just put in there. And again, the main pack is only supposed to be 22 liters. However, I was able to fit enough gear for a long weekend, including a couple extras like two jackets and an extra pair of shoes. And remember, I'm not even using any of these exterior stretchy pockets. So there's plenty of extra room on this pack to add another 10 to 15 liters of gear, enough to go hiking or head down to the beach. Real quick, I'll transfer everything over into the REI big haul. The interior on this thing is only supposed to be listed at 22 liters, while the interior on this bag is listed at 40 liters. That's everything transferred over into the REI big haul, main stuff here, small stuff in the lid. And this thing is definitely not completely full, but is it only half as full? Could I fit twice as much stuff in this pack? Definitely not. So to me, that means that the ULA Dragonfly can hold quite a bit more than you think it would. And while the Dragonfly holds a lot of gear, it's still a small travel backpack. If you stick around in the next video, I'll be comparing it to the ULA Atlas. Really similar style and setup, 40 liter capacity, and a few extra added features. And thanks for watching.